oke okay. ups nah ups oh there is a power card there is a power card what happened oke okay. we try to on it again oke okay. yes. Hello, welcome to WJP channel. Today I will be speaking in English. This is the Delta Pro. This one is the EcoFlow Smart Battery Pro. We are going to try what is the actual hour for two smart battery, 7.2 kilowatt. I will connect the uh, I will connect this first and show you okay I will show you this one first okay this is solar genset by the way okay this is how we connect this one will be connect to the extra battery port okay And another one, this one. Okay. Oops, it's quite long. It's quite heavy. Okay. You will hear a click sound. This is 45 pounds by the way. Okay. That's so we shall turn on. It's so sweaty here. Okay, this is 99. This is 100%. Okay, we will connect first the cable. This cable will be to the genset. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we will turn on not from the grid but we will turn on from here off. You see now it's on everything. So we are now using the battery. Okay. Now it's the genset. Okay. Now we turn on. Okay. So now we are using one, three. So for example, there's no power outlet. This is six hours. Okay. Now we will try to switch on the aircon. Now the the fan is on. We we'll try to switch on the two pk air condition, which is a fifteen thousand BTU, I think. Ah, it's on. See how much he will pull. How long? We'll see how long using the battery. This is using three to nine output to the. Delta Pro from the smart battery. Okay, friends. This is by the way we are using a solar genset which is a, you don't use any gas or, or petrol. So in the event of the blackout, we will try the 7.2 kilowatt how long it will stay for maybe after we have dinner then so this is 7 hours. The aircon is on. Can you imagine seven hours? This aircon is on. I see it's on the TV. I see it's on the TV. Everything is working condition. Dispenser. 
try to switch off because the aircon is on. Wait. What is that? What is that? What is that sound? Is that the uh, dispenser? Is that the dispenser? There is a glitch just now. But we don't know what's the what's the problem. Is it the aircon? But it's withdrawing about one almost two thousand output watts. And it will last for about three hours. And this is the smart battery connection by the way. By the way, the Indonesian version is uh, 230 volt. So we we do not need to connect to Delta Pro to the double voltage hub I think so we are trying whether this uh, Delta Pro is feasible for backup solution at home so let's check up at the above my second floor are they switching on the aircon because it is withdrawing Okay. Nggak makan. Terserah, kan alami aja. So is nothing is drawn, but the the aircon is off. Okay, but it's withdrawing two thousand watt. Will it go down, this icon? The icon is working perfectly. Okay, so now we are, we will be using the microwave. You see, now the usage is about uh, 2,161, three hours left. Coba nyalain, we will turn, turn on the microwave. Okay, let's switch off the light, so bright. Coba. Oke. Okay. One minute. Will it affect? Wow. This is growing almost 3000. Oke. Okay. We will be eating dinner. Okay. This is withdrawing 1381 2 hours plus 2 hours. Let's see after 2 minutes will it rise up? Here in Indonesia there's a lot of mosquito my friends. So Still withdrawing 2,900, 2,000 plus the 900, the microwave. Okay, off again, so it reduce again. You see the input from the battery, 990. Okay, so later we'll try the washing machine for 15 minutes. And by the way, this icon is a 2 pk low, uh, low watt, so I don't know, is it? We're growing so much energy. Maybe I should get a, an inverter. Okay, see you again. By the way, my purpose for this uh, testing is because my solar panel on the roof is tied on grid uh, to the utility company. Uh, we have a six kilowatt of solar panel, a four five five 
our panel we have 16 panel on the roof which is tied to the grid and uh, monthly usage when I see for these past three months is uh, there there is an excess about 200 kilowatt so what I was thinking is I use this Delta because by five o'clock uh, the solar never produce any energy anymore so this Delta maybe 7 kilowatt or maybe uh, 10 kilowatt will will offset the excess energy because I will charge it on on the afternoon tomorrow I will not know uh, whether this will cut the utility grid on the the billing billing of the utility we'll see again okay thank you okay it's about uh, six uh, 530 using 2500 so we will try the I want to use the microwave again we are having dinner okay so using the microwave one minute Okay. Oops. Uh, oops. Oh, there is a power cut. There is a power cut. What happened? Okay. We try to on it again. Okay. Yes. We don't know what happened, so I think we have to switch off the aircon first. This aircon, because I think it's too strong. Okay, first. We have to use the one 9,000, 12,000 BTU, I think. Okay. Okay, and sit down. Then this one will turn on. Okay, is it strong enough? So this is uh, like five hours. Okay, so we try to on the microwave again. Thirty second. Is it strong? Okay, the sound is. You see. Wow, wow. So, the learning lesson I cannot turn on the 2 pk aircon. <laughs> okay, okay. The bihun is hot. Okay, we eat my dinner first. Later, we continue again. Okay, as you know, uh, we are having dinner, and now the the power supply is uh, about two hours from the Delta Pro and seventy six percent, and it's withdrawing from the smart battery one thousand watt and output one eight seven six. We are you uh, the fan is on and the aircon of one pe one point five pk is on. Okay, the battery and there's this one baby here. Uh, Okay, so we are imagining there's a power cut. Say hello, hello. We are having dinner. Okay, you see, the aircon is on. The aircon is on. See, ah, it's withdrawing power. I don't know from where. I don't know where is the power come from. The power, I don't know whether it's from the fridge or what. Two hours and three hours. So we're imagining there's a power blackout. It's almost one hour. Everything is still in normal condition. The aircon, the refrigerator is on. Our dispenser is on. And 
still on. You're still on the power cut. Okay, on. Aircon is on. And by the way, I still have another fridge behind. Sorry for the mess. See? The fan is on. And the freeze is on. Okay? And there's another small fridge behind. By the way, friends, uh, our house is, is 11,000 watt, the capacity of the house tied to the utility, utility company. So there's a 6 kilowatt of solar panel. Most of us, we have to, in Indonesia, which is a very tropical country, at night, it's very hot. So we have three rooms, a master bedroom and two children room. So all of this three room uses about 12,000 BTUs of aircon three room. So because um, the aircon use a lot of energy, so at least we need about actually we need about 25 kilowatt of EcoFlow Delta Pro. But since this is not cheap, so we we try slowly to build up build up the EcoFlow Delta system. Because the solar panel also produce about 25 to 30 kilowatts per day. Our family consume about 50 to 60 kilowatt per day. So if this can offset about 10 to 20 kilowatt, it will be very great. We will reach about zero, uh, almost only 10% of the utility bills. So we are, we are trying to experiment and achieving that, that goal actually. We'll see. And I learned something from this, uh, from this energy system, everything, when we read about the wattage, you know. Uh, actually, the aircon consume a lot of power. And now then I realized that we have to use the inverter aircon. Thanks to some of my, uh, one of my friends who advised me that you need to use inverter if you're trying, you're using the whole night. Because the watt will go down, and the consume of the power will go down and the utility bill will also go down so that's one of the mistake we, we bought all the aircon is low watt it consumes quite high power but so we, we have to use the aircon till this spoil maybe now is we're growing 2300 watts output and the smart battery is supplying 1184 so i'm going to take a bath using the water heater uh, we'll we'll check the power how much it draws okay my daughter will check if if it trips the power then she will turn it on again so she stand by here now okay about five minutes i take above let's, let's go down okay. okay i have taken above and i use the water heater and the head dryer you can see a search right just for a proof of concept there's the hair dryer I use the hair dryer here. See, two thousand four. Two thousand four. See, three thousand plus. Okay, just a proof of concept. No problem. Okay, now we will. We'll be going up to the master bedroom. We will turn off everything. Turning off. Uh, let's say there's a power break, uh, power breakout. Then we will stay in one room. Okay, now. Okay, boleh pindah. Udah selesai. Matiin AC-nya. We'll switch off the aircon. Okay. We will shift to the bedroom. See, the power is going down. Maybe the fan, we, we set it to three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now silakan nyalain AC yang di atas, nyalain AC. Okay, okay, now 
I'll show you the power. Oh, it goes down drastically. See, we're only using about 988. Okay, 988, and uh, the smart battery only supplying 500 plus. So, it the power become longer. We'll change to the master bedroom icon, which is about 1.5 pk, which is about 12,000 BTUs. Oke, okay, nyalain. Coba lihat. Udah? Oke. Okay. It rise up again. The icon up is on. Oke, okay, it left about 45%. 45%. And the smart battery is supplying 2 hours more. 1 hours more. Oke, okay, this is a very perfect con combination. I think, friends. Nah, it is going up again. It's going up again. So we'll check from the EcoFlow app. Okay, the fan is very strong. Okay, now it's withdrawing about 1,945 output. Input is 1,000 watt from the smart battery, and left about. Uh, One hour 26 minute. Ah, uh, now about 6:50. So we'll go up and uh, we'll see again how is it. Okay. So um, I'll switch off the the main camera. We'll go up as usual at uh, in our room and activities. You can see the light is on. Light is on, TV is on, and icon is on. Okay, so we will try to on the induction cooker. Is it possible? Like, yeah, no kencang coba. Ready? Full. Which mic here? Sepuluh. The induction is at about level ten. And it's good. It goes up. Okay, we'll see. No problem with the induction cooker. So, okay, we'll see. So, induction cooker is at 10. Okay, friends. Uh, now it's around uh, almost 8 p.m. in the night, and we'll check because uh, left 10 percent. See, because uh, we use the water pump and uh, the battery also left 13% output of 1385 watts left 20 minutes 20 minutes because the when when we wash the water it use the water pump it adds around 500 watts so on and off on and off so uh, this is a daily usage Uh, the real condition in a house with these two battery solar genset the delta pro and the smart battery i think it will last about three hours so i will close tonight and when tomorrow morning i will continue again and charge how long it will charge to 100% uh, maybe about uh, using the extreme or what we'll see okay friends Today we will close the video and I will continue again the next day. Tomorrow I will charge it again. I will show you all. Thank you. Good night. Hello. Good morning. Uh, this is the next day, so I'm going to charge the Delta Pro and the smart battery using the Extreme, the cable supplied from the Delta EcoFlow. So I plug in. Oke, okay. oke, okay. now is charging ready. 
Okay. It's charging. We'll see how long. This this is the slow custom charging and it takes about 385 input okay. input 140 so it takes about 16 hours so now I will switch to the fast one okay this is what we call fast charging okay two hours it takes to charge two hours and three hours so two to three hours it will be finished charging okay we are using the uh, the solar panel we are using the solar panel from the above the excess solar panel so i'll see you again by the way thank you for uh, watching this video i also would like to say thank you for the eco flow from indonesia i will share the uh, the link below where to buy for sending me this eco flow smart battery to try thank you once again don't forget to subscribe